Hey there and welcome to the club and welcome to another weekend art challenge. Today I'll be creating an original super villain out of a common rat. So let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with the left side. I'm going to draw a curve for the upper brow. Starting from the outside, curving down and in. From here I just want to draw a little frown line in the center. So taking that point and just curving up the middle. We're going to take this curve and draw it on the right side. So we're going to take this point down here, curving in the opposite direction. Now we're going to curve up the right side brow to the outside. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath. So on the left side here, we're going to step in over to the right. Just draw almost like a half circle coming in towards that curve there. We'll do the same thing on the right side, starting from the inside, and then curving up and tucking it underneath the brow. Let's give the eyes some bang. So on this side right here, we're going to curve out. On the right, we'll curve out. In between the eyes, just above, right here above the nose area, we're just going to draw a little snout line. Now let's move down the center, down to right about here, we're going to draw in the nose. So we just want to draw a big oval, starting from the center, curve out to the left, and then the right, and then back up to the top. We're going to give them some nostrils. So we're going to draw smaller ovals on the left side, and then on the right. Let's go ahead and draw on the sides of the snout. So right beside the left side of this curve of the nose, we're just going to curve up and towards the eye. On the right side, we're going to curve up and in. And from here, let's draw in the sides of the mouth. So you're going to see the sides of the mouth on the left and the right behind this snout. So right here on the top of this nose, we're going to step down and curve out towards the left. We're going to overlap this, coming up towards the side of the eye and curve in the opposite direction underneath the snout. On the end here, I just want to draw a little bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So stepping down from the top of the snout, curving up and out. Now we're going to step down here and curve up in the opposite direction, up beside the right eye. We'll just finish that off with a little bracket. I just want to show a little bit of teeth inside. So from the left side, we start by drawing a couple lines coming down. On the right, we'll do the same thing. In the center here, I'm going to give them one big buck tooth. So in the center, I just want to draw a straight line coming down. We're going to intersect this at the end with a curve going across. And then on the left side, I'm going to angle up underneath the nose, and on the right, I will do the same thing. From here, I want to give this character a helmet. So from the center here, just above this brow line, I'm going to draw a straight horizontal line going across. From here, I'm going to curve up above the eye to the side of the temple. So curving up, and just to the side of the eye on the left, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Curving down to right about there, making sure they sort of balance out here. From here, I'm going to draw in some cheek fur. So on the left side, I'm going to curve out towards the left and down. I'm going to curve it back in towards the center of the face so it gets a little bit wider. I'm going to curve down. And I'm going to pull that back up again to right about there. From this point, I'm going to curve and tuck this in underneath the snout. So just doing a nice little curve like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So curving out and down. We'll pull that back up, again just tapering it so it gets a little bit wider. I'm going to curve down like we did on the left. I'm going to pull that back up to right about there and we're going to pull in the bottom of the face underneath the snout like that. Let's go ahead and give the character a helmet. So from these two points right here, I'm going to curve to the top of the head and back down on the right side. So it doesn't really matter how high I go, I just want to kind of create an even circle. Going up in the middle and then curving down on the right side. I'm going to probably want to add in some horns or some detail in here. So from here, I'm going to draw a curve from the top, curving down, and then up. I want to connect that point to that tip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve in and then just round it out, almost like a raindrop. We do the same thing on the right side. So starting at the top, curving down, and then pulling that up. Now I'm going to merge those two points. I'm going to continue this curve and then curve in the opposite direction towards the tip. Let's give the character some big ears. So from the top here, I just want to draw one big ear coming out on the side of the helmet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and curve upwards. Now I'm going to bring it around in the opposite direction down towards the side of the head here. So I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, doing a nice smooth curve, almost like a circle, coming back in towards the head. Now I'm going to draw the little flap that comes over the ear. So I'm going to take this curve and duplicate it on the inside, but I'm going to come down to that point here. Starting at the very top of the ear, I'm going to curve around, 
And as I come down to the bottom, I'm going to merge it right into that point there. Let's draw in a little bit of wrinkling inside the ear. So up along this line, I'm going to curve up. I'm going to draw another curve going in a slightly further angle that way. Let's draw the same thing on the right side. So starting at the same height, I'm going to curve up. Now I want to round this out and I want to come down to the same height as I have on the left. So right about here. So I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, round this out, and bring it into the side of the head there. We're going to draw that inner ear detail. So starting from the top, curving down, and as I get towards the bottom, I'm going to merge in right at the bottom, right there. Let's draw those little wrinkles in the ear. So along this line, I'm going to curve up, step down, and just go out a little further towards the right. So from here, I think the face is looking pretty good. Let's get into the body. I'm going to draw the sides of the body first. So starting on the side of the snout, where the snout meets the chin, I'm going to curve down towards the waistline, to right about there. On the right, I'll do the same thing. So the body sort of kind of goes outwards this way. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve along the bottom. I'm going to go up and draw that same curve for the belt, from left to right. In the center here, I want to draw in a buckle. So on the left, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. On the right, I'll do the same thing. Inside here, I just want to trim it out, just to show a little bit of buckle detail. I'm just tracing the inside. Let's add some chest detail. So I'm going to give them a little bit of armor. So along the center of the chest, I'm just going to draw a curve going across. In the middle here, I'm just going to extend this line down the center. Over towards the left side, I'm going to just draw in a curve, just to accentuate the rib cage on both sides like that. From here, let's draw in some big shoulder armor coming out this way. So on the left side here, I just want to curve out towards the left. And I'm going to curve up and tuck this in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curving up and out. And then I'm going to pull this right in underneath the head. Okay, before we get into the arms, I'm going to go down towards the legs and finish off the legs. So in the middle here, I'm going to draw the lower torso. So I'm just going to draw a big curve from left to right. This will help us start off the inside part of the leg. So from the left side, I'm gonna step in towards the middle, just draw an angled line going out towards the left. On the right, I'll angle out towards the right. Now I wanna curve in the lower leg, curving down towards the heel on both sides. Let's draw in the bottom of the feet. So I'm gonna give them some really big feet. So from the heel to the toe, I'm gonna draw a big long curve on both sides. I'll try to make sure that these are the same length. For the toes, I'm going to take this point here, curve up and in, and I'm going to curve across and down towards the bottom of the foot, right about there. I'm not going to close it off and leave a little opening. In here, I want to draw on some toes. So I'm just going to draw a curve once and then twice. Up here, we're going to go in towards the ankle. So from that point, I'm going to step over towards the left and curve up and in with a short little curve. We're going to go out towards the knee. So this part of the inside part of the leg, we're going to move across. This is where the knee is going to be. So what we want to do is take a point here and overlap. From the knee, we're going to go all the way up towards the hip with a curve. Let's go over to the right side and do the same thing. So taking the tip of the toe, curving up and in, just like we did on the left, we're going to curve the top across, going across right about there. We're going to separate the toes with one curve and then two. Now we're going to do that little curve up and towards the ankle. So right here we're going to step in towards the right and curve up. So the ankle gets really narrow here. Again, towards the knee, we're going to do an overlap, curving out towards the knee, and then curving the top of the leg right towards that knee. Let's add a little bit of detail to the lower body. Right up here, we we'll draw a curve on the knee, just for a little bit of a knee pad. And I can add a little strap here too. So from the back of that leg, I'm going to curve right into the back of the knee pad and just draw that twice. One on top, one on bottom. Right here and just above. I want to separate the foot and the leg. So right up here in that line, about halfway, I'm going to curve down. Draw the same thing at the bottom. Okay, so we've got the lower part, part of the body. Let's get into the arms. I'm just going to have the character with his arms out like this. So let's start with the left side first. So right up here, I want to draw the outside part of the arm going towards the wrist. So about halfway down this curve of the shoulder pad, I'm going to curve out. From here, I'm going to draw in the thumb, so the curve going around to the thumb. So from that point, I just want to intersect it with a little curve like that. This is the thumb knuckle. We're going to curve to the tip of the thumb, and we're going to give him a little bit of a claw. So curve like that, 
and then we're going to pull that back so it tapers out, gets a little bit wider. From that point, I'm just going to curve in for the meat of the hand. Let's draw the first fingers. So beside the thumb, we draw a curve. Beside that one, we're going to draw another curve, almost like an oval, and tuck that in on the other side of the thumb. We'll do that one more time. Just curve in the pinky. Now from here, we'll draw the outside of the hand, coming in towards the inside of the wrist, but we want to sort of aim towards this line on the opposite side of the arm. So curving around and in. We're going to take that point, step down, and curve in behind the body. So the arm gets a little bit wider as you get towards the body. Up here, I'm going to draw a curve for the glove line. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So again, starting halfway down this curve, curve out towards the wrist. Now we're going to draw that curve for the thumb. Up towards the thumb knuckle, curving down towards the thumb, tip, curving back. Now we're going to draw the meat of the hand, curving around. Let's draw on the first finger. So on the side of the thumb here, we're going to draw one curve. I'm going to do an oval tucked in behind the thumb, and then one more behind that finger. Right beside this finger, I'm going to curve around in towards the wrist. We'll step down, draw a curve for the bottom part of the arm, and right up here, we're going to draw the glove line. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to draw the tail. So a big tail coming up this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom here, and start with the outside edge of the tail. So right about here, I'm going to curve underneath the hand, and we're going to have to continue this behind the hand. So right up here, I'm going to imagine this curve going up, out, and then down. We're going to thicken this up. So from a tip, from a point, it's going to get a little bit wider as we get towards the body. Starting at the tip, we're going to widen out, and come down into the hand, right about there, and then we'll continue a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker here. And then along the tail, I just want to draw some stripes. So right from the tip, I'm just going to draw some curves and just space these out evenly all the way across right there. As I get down this way, I want to change the angle of the curve. So I'm curving in the opposite direction. This way, that. Final thing, I'm going to tuck in a, a cape in behind here. So from that point of the shoulder pad, I'm going to curve down behind the arm, continue below the arm and behind the tail into a point there. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So curving behind the arm, and continuing down to about there. I want to connect that point to that point behind the legs. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a wave. Curving down. Up here I'm going to curve in the opposite direction. And then curve down at the bottom. And there it is. There's our super villain rat. I don't have a name for this character, but if you can help me out, add a comment and give us your suggestions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.